These beavers are destroying this pond. Not only are they climbing up on the bank and cutting down all the big trees, but they've also raised the water level to a dangerous level that if the dam ever did break, it could potentially wash out roads, people's houses, and their livestock. On the same property, there's also rumors of a raccoon so big that it would have trouble fitting in a 55 gallon barrel. Long story short, we're catching some beavers and we're catching a giant raccoon. After scouting the pond, I prep my traps for the next morning and now, it's time to set some traps. Step one, since I'm getting in the water. And you're gonna freeze. I gotta wear waders. It's like 28 degrees. For these beavers, we're gonna be using two different kinds of traps. The first is a 330 conibear. This thing is big. So big that I have to have a special tool just to set it. and so big that these things kill instantly when the beaver gets caught in. Long story short, you set the trap in the path of the beaver, and as the beaver goes through the trap, it sets off. Killing him instantly. The second trap is this giant foothold trap. This trap doesn't actually kill the beaver, but we do have it rigged up on this table, which we throw a big heavy weight in deep water so that whenever they do get caught, they slide down the deep water, can't get back up, and essentially they drown which again is a pretty quick death. This trap's so big, I could have a hard time setting it myself. And so we'll see if we really get to use it. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're gonna set our first step right down here. We got a problem. Boy, what are you wearing Crocs for? They ain't forward out either. Mm -hmm. But I never know if I gotta go amphibious or not. And I also don't have boots in the truck. We can get down in here. Oh, yep, we deep. It's cold. We're gonna be setting what you call a beaver mound set. It's kind of like the beaver's version of a scent post, I think. All right, here we go. To start the mound set, I'm digging me out kind of like a little cubby thing. And then I'm gonna dig out the dirt, make a little shelf, take that big clot of dirt, set it up on the bank, and that's gonna be the mound part. So what are you doing out there? Right here, I'm making it kind of slippery because in nature, beaver mounds are real slick. I guess they're rubbing their butt on it, so it's pretty slick. But what makes the beaver mound good, and which makes it smell like a butt, is the beaver caster right here. This is like the stanky stuff of a beaver not around here. So whenever another beaver around here smells it, he's gonna get pretty upset because beavers are super territorial. So you're calling his bluff. I don't know. What's that mean? Yeah, look at that. Good stuff. We're gonna put that right in there. It's gross. It is gross. Then in the little opening I created, that's where I'm gonna set my 330 because that's where they're gonna have to be swimming through to get to the mouth. This set should be pretty quick for the beaver. It gets interested in the scent, swims up to the scent, literally gets clapped, and then it's game over for him. This trap's good to go. We got lure on there. Yeah, we're ready to bounce. Set another trap. The more we can set, the better because if we can catch all these beavers before they figure out what's going on, the better. Once a beaver understands a trap, they can get real smart. Don't stick your foot in the trap. Yeah, that's bad. The next kind of set we're going to be setting is a slide set. You can look right here. This is their slide or, you know, their run, whatever you want to call it. But the beavers are very obviously traveling this trail. Very simple. We're setting the trap right in their path. Hopefully they run right into it. Now that we got the beaver trap set, it's time to move on to set some raccoon traps. But the other critter they have in here is big raccoons. They're getting into their garden and they're just not, they're just not making a good day. So we got some dog proof raccoon traps, set them up right up here on basic trails. We're gonna see if we can catch some raccoons. They said they've had a lot of coon hunters in here, but that for whatever reason, there's a few big raccoons in here. Nobody can kill them. They're just so big and so smart and so old, dogs are having a hard time getting them. So hopefully our traps might just be the exception to get these guys. But yeah, dog proof coon trap, dog food. That is a very deadly raccoon trapping setup. And that literally took me about 30 seconds to set. And we're off to the next one. This is a real time raccoon set. Here we go, start to finish. Boom, set the trap. Stick it in the ground. A little bit of dog food. We're on the next one. That's pretty quick. Now, let's set out a handful more of those raccoon traps. And I have a pretty good feeling. We should come back. We should have some animals tomorrow. Raccoons aren't that smart. You know who is smart, though? Who? Not us. True. 
Later that night, the beaver activity was super high. And just from what I have on my trail camera, I'm estimating we're gonna be dealing with anywhere from four to six different beavers at this pond. But with the beaver activity being so high, I was pretty hopeful that we at least caught something. We started with the raccoon traps and unfortunately we just didn't have anything. But then we moved on to the beaver pond. I got a couple extra traps. We're probably gonna set these today. Our objective is to eradicate the beaver. So even if we catch a couple, still not good enough. We gotta keep on trapping. Anyways, let's go check the traps. We might have a beaver. We might not. I don't know yet. All right guys, our first set was right here on this slide. It was the last one we set yesterday. The trap is gone and I'm pretty sure we got a beaver stuck in it. Dude, let's go. Yeah, baby, we caught a beaver. I think he's dead. He's underwater, so I think he's dead. See him? Yep. Let's go, that is perfect. Pull my sleeves up. I'm gonna have to go in on this, and this one's a little deep. Yes, sir, dude. Let's stink and go. Look at that. We stink and slap the beaver, baby. He came right off that slide, slid straight into the trap, and we got us a beaver. Now, that's actually not a big beaver, believe it or not. He looks big, but they get way bigger. That's a good sign. That's our first trap of the day. And I believe we'll probably be able to reset that trap right here and probably, who knows, get another one here tonight. As long as they're using this area, I'd say we got pretty good chances. Oh yeah, look at them teeth. This is right here is what's responsible for chopping down trees. All right, there's beaver number one. I'm gonna reset this trap real quick. Then we're moving on to number two and number three. Wait, this trap's gone. Did we stake it in? Yeah, we staked this trap in, but it's gone. <sighs> That's not good. Well, we definitely caught something last night. No, 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 we got him, we got him. Yeah, the stake's right here. Let's see if there's a beaver attached. Oh, no, no beaver. We had something, something knocked the trap and got out. Whether he just didn't get caught or got lucky some other way. We had something and it got out. The third trap has not been touched, which is totally fine. We're gonna leave it alone. We're gonna get back, reset that one. And then I think if we got player odds right, we're gonna have to set more traps. Knowing that there's plenty more beavers to catch, I figured it'd be a pretty decent idea to go ahead and set more traps today. I set another 330 on the dam where it looked like they were sliding over. And then I even got in the water and set some snares. So the way this one works, the beaver snare, is that we put the snare right on the side of the stick. We're gonna put scent, beaver scent, on this side of the snare and this side. He's gonna come up, smell it, Go around the other side and smell it, and that's when he's gonna get caught. Hmm. Pretty simple. And now that I got all those traps set, there was only one last thing to do. I got a beaver. Oh. What? What a thing. That's a beaver. Where'd you get that? Oh, you got blood on the couch. All right, man, we'll see you later. Here, take it. On check day two, we had another beaver, and this one we caught in the same spot as the one we did yesterday. We'll take it. He don't look to be in the best shape. You better come on down here, Slippy, Slippy Cross. <laughs> Is he still? <laughs> there we go. He got Connie Bear. We got a beaver, baby. Let's see his teeth. Them monsters. The boy can brush his teeth. He's not massive, but he's still bigger than the one we caught on day one, which, uh, I don't know. We may be figuring it out. But that was the last little bit of luck we had. For the next four days, not only did we not catch a beaver, but none of our traps was even touched at all. And it looked like the beavers were actually going around our trap. And it's not like the beavers were gone. We had trail cam footage through all these days that were showing the beavers being really active, but they just weren't getting caught in our traps. So I decided to call up my cousin Stu from Coon Creek Outdoors to see if he could get me any tips so I could go ahead and finish off this beaver problem. Yes, sir. How's it going? What's going on? Going good. We're down here at the beaver pond. I'm trapping these beavers in this beaver pond, and they're they're in like a weird coal mine thing that's kind of above the pond, and then they got them a slide wore out from there down to the pond. Well, I've sat down at the bottom of the slide with a 330, and I've caught two, actually, but then they start going around it. Chance they're 330 shy, or at least figured out that one spot. 
I'd say. I, I, I have issues with 330s, especially beaver that's looking, you know, they're in a tight little area. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know how much blocking you're doing with your 330s, yeah. but that can definitely deter them as well. I, I try to keep uh, it just as, about as natural as you can. And so that one uh, spot right up in the coal mine where they are moving in, it, it seems like there's one entrance in, one entrance out. So if I could put a 330 there and catch one a day, I mean, that's probably pretty good, right? Yeah, if you, I mean, if you can catch them, it will, I wouldn't hesitate by putting a set there. You know, if they get smart to it, you know, them beavers are still going to go in and out of it then. For the caster mound sets, I have a 330 in there. One of them got set off on the first day. Do you think I should swap that out for a foothold maybe? I do prefer the foothold. I think it's just a more natural presentation. It is very difficult to trap an educated beaver. I mean, that's... Mm. That's one of, I mean, they're hard to do that way. So if you come in there, put a bunch of sets in, get them thinned out, then, uh, you know, I, I think it's only to your benefit. Okay. So go in hot and heavy and try to do as much as you can quick. Yep. Yep. That'd be my suggestions. All right. Thanks, man. We'll catch you later. Yep. All right. We'll see. You. All right. So we got the beaver trap said right the way he was saying to. I'm pretty confident about tomorrow. But just as it's been four days since we caught a beaver, it's been even longer since we caught a raccoon because we've not actually caught one yet. And for bait, we've been using dog food, but it just ain't working. Usually dog food plain works great, but I think that means they're just not walking past the trap. If a raccoon's walking straight past the trap and it's got dog food in it, pretty sure you're going to catch it. But for these, they may not be walking these paths and we might need to call them down a little bit. So we're going super simple. My secret raccoon bait. Dog food and fake vanilla extract. Super cheap. Should work. Come on, get close. Dog food and diesel. Dog food and diesel. That's right. But yeah, this is a really, I mean, it's super cheap. Dog food, if you buy the cheapest kind, it'll be fine. This stuff right here is like a dollar. Smells good. Get that in there. And we got raccoon bait laced with vanilla extract, and it smells pretty good. She now. said laced. It is laced. Get you some. I mean, it smells like Play-Doh. Smells better than fish oil. Tell me that don't smell like Play-Doh. That don't play like Play-Doh. Smell it. It does smell like Play-Doh. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all that, all the other dog food because now it's a little wet. A little soggy. I'm going to just literally reset these traps, but now i got a little bit of vanilla. That vanilla will actually carry pretty far. Now, I mean, Ethan's going to go. We're going to go rebate the rest of these, and then hopefully in the morning, we got us a big old raccoon. We got us a couple beavers. All right, guys, it's the next day. As you can see, we got a little bit of snow last night, and one of the raccoon traps... Has something in it. Now it's not the 100 pound raccoon we were looking for, but it does appear to be a little possum. Wake up, buddy. Wake up, buddy, he's asleep. He's asleep. Oh, now he's awake. There we go. Yep, that's not the raccoon we're looking for, but we'll take it. I'm gonna take care of this guy, and then we're moving on to the beaver traps. All right, guys, here we go. Into the beaver pond. I'm feeling pretty good about today. I'm feeling pretty good about the sets I made. One way or another, I brought another trail camera to set out so that we can take another census on how many beavers are left. I know that we've got two so far, and hopefully we have more today. But it's always good to get an idea of how many beavers we're still working with. All right, here's our first trap. Looking out there at the beaver snares, they're still there. Mm. I had high hopes today. I really did. Let's track the caster mounds. Maybe we got some sniffing or something. Ah, uh, we may have something. The trap's gone. Can this caster mound be the one that brings us a beaver for today? Oh, no, it's nothing. Nothing. Wow. Oh, man. I thought we had something right there. I'm gonna have to reset that one right here in a minute. This trap check is not going how I was hoping. And even worse, it looks like the raccoons was pretty active last night. Right here on this log above this creek, we literally have raccoon prints going all the way down this log. So they were active, but they just didn't hit my trap. Before I left yesterday, I did try my luck at a dam break set, which is where you break the beaver dam, set a trap, and hopes that you catch him as he comes to fix it. It did rain a lot last night, but this beaver dam break is a lot bigger than I left it. So I don't know, who knows? We're gonna pull it up and see if anything's on it. Looks like the trap's gone. All right, here we go. Oh, baby, I think we got the beaver. This one's huge. What in the world? This thing is massive. I can't believe that worked. And it looks like something's ate him up while he's been here, too. Something's definitely been chewing on this guy. Let's go, baby. That's beaver number three. And this guy is huge. We get this guy out of the trap, and we'll see how big he is. There we go. Dude, look at this beaver. 
Are y'all good? Are y'all good? Oh, now we're in a dream. Ooh, ah. Yeah, I don't want to show too much of this beaver, but something's been chewing on him while he's been underwater. There he is compared to my boot. And both of his front legs are gone and a spot on his back leg. Now that is spooky. What in the world would have started eating this guy underwater? Snapping turtles, maybe? But it did just snow, so they shouldn't be super active. Or that could explain why that raccoon wasn't very hungry for our traps last night. This is all just speculation, but speculation with cause. Now, here's the thing. We did just catch the biggest beaver of my life, which is awesome. However, we know for a fact this isn't the last beaver. We know there's more. And with that being said, our job is far from over. All right, guys, it's the next day back at the pond, and this is a big day because we could be getting close to the end. I mean, right here, the broken dam set where I broke the dam to see if anything would fix it. You can see right here's my set. There's the trap. The idea is whenever they come up to fix the dam, they get caught. And that's what happened to the big beaver. But as we can see, nothing's been back to fix it. Let's check the rest of these sets, and uh, I don't know, we'll see. Over here at this mound set, it's actually out of the water, which just goes to show how much the water level's already dropped. I loaded. They never fixed the dam. The water's still dropping. Could mean we're getting close. This set is the same way. It's out of the water because the water's dropped. And I can look over there at the snares. They're also almost out of the water. And nothing's in them. We can see there's nothing in that one, which is where we caught the first two beavers. And even on their little slide right here, it doesn't look like it's been used. This one here is it hasn't been touched. And the one back there kind of looks like it's gone. No, it's right there in the water. We don't have anything, but it has been moved. Yep. Here it is, boys. Looks like something set it off, but doesn't look like we caught anything. According to the truck camera footage, it does look like there's at least one more beaver. Looks like it was a pretty close call for the beaver, but turns out we didn't really get him. But that does mean he's still here, at least somewhere. The question is gonna be, is he even gonna stick around long enough for us to catch him? What happened last time I was here, two years ago, is I caught the main biggest beaver and then all the other beavers just disappeared. For this last beaver, I say we're either gonna catch him tonight or we'll see if he moves out. And when it comes down to the punt for the 100 pound coon, didn't catch anything last night. However, we did catch another possum. I'm gonna take care of this old dude. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. It is the next day and I'm actually checking the traps for the last time. I'm not gonna be able to check the traps for the next couple days and I'm not gonna leave them set if I can't check them. Starting off with the dog proof. Nothing in this one, nothing in this one, and nothing in this one. Unfortunately, we never caught the legendary raccoon, but does that mean that he's just not using this area at this time of year? Or maybe he's just so smart that he knows how to avoid a trap. This is all speculation. But speculation with co And now we're moving on to the beaver pond. Nothing in that trap, nothing in that one. Nothing in the broke dam set, and nothing's been fixed in the dam either. So nothing in the traps, no activity of beavers. Let's go check that trail camera and see what it tells us. We may have just solved the beaver problem. And after checking the trail camera, there was no beaver activity whatsoever last night. And I got the camera set up right on their den. So if they came out, I would have seen it. However, there was still that one beaver a couple nights ago that we never did catch. My prediction with that beaver is that maybe we just spooked him so good that he just hit the creek and got out of here. The question though, Will that beaver come back or will he stay gone? I don't think our work here is completely over. Click right here for another trapping video where he's going after a mystery critter that killed 10 chickens in one night. <laughs>